Greetings, folks. This is Dominic here to talk about on um, today's General Hospital episode. Today's episode was a little underwhelming in a way, but it was also very good in a way, too. I say it was kind of underwhelming and kind of good in the same time. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, I'm trying to think, do I have any, like, news that I need to share with you guys? Well, we really don't know much about the whole Prospect Park thing, so I don't have anything on that front to share with you guys. If anything comes to um comes to um, pass, anything comes comes to light, I'll let you guys know. Anyway, let's start with today's episode. Today's episode started off with Sabrina being at the crime scene, seeing well Caleb, well she thinks it's McBain, um lick the damn. Well, I don't know if she flat out saw him lick it or not. Lick the um arrow that arrow and whatnot and she saw that cop which who i thought was dead i first thought the guy was dead then the guy started coughing and whatnot and sabrina figured out he was alive she was trying to stop the bleeding and she called she she got him rushed to gh meanwhile over at general hospital at the hospital brit and maxie are scheming their plan to get sabrina brit wants to get sabrina fired from all uh, well wants her to not because she's still in nursing school. She doesn't want her to get her RN license or something like that. She doesn't want her to get her nurse's license. So she will never have to work at the hospital. And I'm like, bitch. Bitch. I'm, I, I know people online call her bitch. What the hell? What the hell's wrong with you? Do you... Was Patrick... Is Patrick dick that good? Now, now that, that's about, what, about comes on the, like one of the main things that pissed me off on about today's episode. Um, And we're going to be seeing more of Brit because... She's been put on contract, but I will say this: congratulations to the actress, actress that's been put on contract. She's a good actress. She actually kind of make. Uh, she's playing. I would say she is playing the um character correctly. She's. I think you're supposed to hate the character. That's the idea. You're supposed to hate her. And well, hey, congratulations to her being on contract. But we will be seeing more of her. Hope she can be redeemed. All I gotta say. But anyway, I have a feeling she had Maxie switch those whatever that was that she, um Patrick and because Patrick was trying to say Patrick basically was saying he knew the doctor could have been saved. He knew the doctor could have been saved. What? Well, no, not the doctor. The officer could have been saved, and there was no way they couldn't. Have, there was no way that he wasn't. I mean, that was, he should have been. They, he should have been able to save that doctor, but they lost him. And I, I have a feeling Britt had Sabrina so since Sabrina was in there in that room hiding now. I think, I think she was in that room hiding now. Well, Maxie was in that room hiding now, and I have a feeling she had, but Britt had her have her switch the um, what it, that those medicines and whatnot to stop that bleeding, but it continued. And it killed the doc, killed the um officer, and from what I'm hearing, they it could be a murder investigation coming up because Patrick was basically sitting there saying there was no way he, that, that that officer should have died. There was no way he should have died. He should have been able to stop the bleeding. But anyway, um, I'm hearing this is a big murder mystery coming up. This this could be a this could be potentially be a um murder case coming up because and Anna was sitting there trying to figure out. Anna's all confused. Well, she has a feeling about being confused with people not being who they say they are. Um, since um, they, her and Dante were looking at the surveillance surveillance tape, and they found out that, that they saw Caleb on the tape. Well, this is something I want to understand. If, Caleb, if Caleb's a vampire, how are they able to see him on tape? I thought vampires didn't have reflections. How are they? How I mean, how is he able to see? How are they? How were they able to see him on tape? Well, it's the, I know they they want you to believe they want you to think are vampires real in this universe? Are they not real? Is Caleb a vampire? Is he not? I don't know. Anyway, could be a werewolf thing. Could be vampire, human by day, vampire by night. Anyway, um, and wasn't that creepy as hate? And I'll talk about that later on. Um, but um, then um, all this whole ELQ stuff. I'm loving this. I'm loving this whole ELQ stuff. I predicted that. Pickle Lila was going to be what saved ELQ. AJ, Michael, and Duke were sitting there scheming, trying to figure out, like, whether, trying to figure out, like, well, they were doing something like trying to, they, they, they hurt him, Duke, Duke, Luke, not Duke and Luke, Duke, um, AJ, and Michael are looking for the recipe for Pickle Lila. Also, Tracy's looking for the, um, Recipe for pickle Lila. So she asked Alice. It was good to see Alice today. That's my girl. Um, it's good to see Alice today. Um, she Tracy asked Alice to um, and I like Tracy too, but Tracy asked Alice to asked her, did she know um the recipe to pickle Lila and um she was but Alice was saying that that was a little bit before my time before I came here. 
Because Alice didn't become their maid until I think like the 90s. And then that whole Pickle Isla storyline had already been passed. Had already passed. But anyway, um. Tr- um but so they're on the hunt to find a recipe for Pickle Isla. And that's what's going to be. Like it did in the 80s. That's going to be um what saves ELQ. I'm just interested in seeing who's going to find the recipe first. Um, and also this QA. Tracy's very convinced that there there is another. That Lauren Frank. Excuse me. Is real. And you know what? I believe Lauren Frank is real. I believe they're bringing that character on. Because I believe it's in one of those. Upcoming casting calls. And I'm trying to figure out. How old is Lauren Frank supposed to be? Is she going to be a teenager? Is she going to be a baby? Is she going to be. I, I, that's something I don't understand. Well, how old Lauren Frank is going to be? Because Franco I think is supposed to be in like 37. I think he'd be 37 if that character was still alive. They better not have that character be still alive. I hated that damn character, Franco. I like James Franco as an actor. I hated the character, Franco. Anyway, um... But, yeah. I have a feeling they're going to bring that character on. Because Luke was saying something like, So, well, Carly only said... Well, Caroline... Well, I like how he calls her Caroline. That Caroline said, um... Caroline did say that this possibly... Possibly Lauren Frank is real. It, or, or it could have been just been Franco playing with much like doing a mind game i believe personally lauren frank is real i believe it's one of those current casting calls that they have out currently so i have a feeling lauren frank is real in my opinion i think she's real anyway um i don't I, i'm thinking they'll probably put her in the i actually want to see this i want to see them put her in a teen scene possibly for like a rafe or even a tj love interest or something i could see that i like to see that personally Anyway, um, okay, let's, let's talk, speaking of Raven TJ, let's talk about this. Um, TJ basically went to Molly's house, knocked on the door with basically big and like Keith Sweat. Went there to big and like Keith Sweat, and basically just wanted Molly to hear him out on why he, um, is so pissed off about this whole rape situation. And coming from a guy that's been, like I said, been cheated on before, I, I understand where his jealousy is coming from. I think he's a little too over jealous. But I think I can understand where his jealousy is coming from. He he basically told Bob he cared about her so much, and basically I, in, in all words he he doesn't want to lose her to this, and he basically was saying like, um how Rafe was um how and Molly actually did kind of read him today was saying Molly told him so what well, T J when you first came to town you were um that people were telling me um not to hang with you people thought you was thought you were um basically he was a lost cause and well like like people are thinking about Rafe. But I'm beginning to think, since with this whole, them seeing Caleb on film and whatnot, thinking he's John McBain, they're going to start believing Rafe's story. I think they're going to, I think they're going to start believing Rafe's story. But anyway, um, and, um, speaking of Rafe, I'm going to know this. How the hell did he know where, um, Molly lives? That was, uh, that's something I want to know. How did he know where she lived? She never told him where she lived. That's something I always want to know. Why did she, I mean, how did he know where she lived? Anyway, T.J. Molly was sitting there having a conversation, and everybody was making it seem like they were having this big fight and whatnot. There wasn't no big fight. There was not a big fight. People seemed like they were having, people like because people were saying the spoilers. Um, T.J. and Molly have a big have a fight and whatnot. Have a big fight. That wasn't no fight. That was just a little mini argument and whatnot. He was just disagreeing with her and. TJ and TJ, like I can say, he said he cared about her a whole lot and basically expressed his feelings of her. And it was actually kind of funny how they brought up the fact that TJ went joyriding in a car and that, um, this is when the other actor was playing him. Um, whatever happened to that guy? I mean, I haven't seen him or nothing else. I know he left GH to do other projects. I ain't seen him in shit. That's what I want to know. I ain't seen him in shit. Anyway, um, and he, he brought up the fact that he did throw a party. He said, I, I did all that, but I didn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't suspect, wasn't, I wasn't a suspect of killing my mom. Anyway, um, anyway, like I said, it was, it was like kind of creepy seeing Rafe like sitting under there listening to talk, listening to the conversation, and it, was, and it seemed like Rafe was saying, "I heard what your boyfriend said." He was telling Molly, "I heard what your boyfriend said," and um, I heard everything. Like as I heard that, he was saying, "I heard what your boyfriend said." Um, um, and it seems like I don't think Rafe really is interested in Molly like that. I, I think, I will say this, TJ is kind of blowing this all out of proportion. Molly is, I don't, I, I don't think she's all interested in him like that. Because um, I think she, I think she generally cares about TJ too. Speaking of Molly and TJ, today was the first episode I've seen them those two kiss. Since the, char- since the character was recast. Today was the first day they kissed since the recast. Since that character was recast. Um, I don't know what they were waiting on for that, but it was the first time they kissed. 
anyway, um, I can I guess because Ron Carlevani was something people I heard people saying Ron Carlevani was getting mail saying why don't you have those two characters kiss? Do you, is it that you don't want a black character kissing a white character? So they kiss today. Not that was just our rumors I've been hearing people say that RC was getting mail saying why why don't why don't Molly and TJ ever kiss? They always see them doing his hood. We never see them kiss. But hey, they kiss today. It was a little peck, but it was a kiss. Anyway, um, moving on from this story. But I, also, I, damn Caleb Morley. That's that damn stalker shit. Caleb, Caleb did say he will, he will be, um, wherever. He don't know why rapes keep, rape keep trying to run. He will be the one to, he will find him. So wherever the rape goes, he'll find him. And I said, go in Caleb and let half, but... He was standing outside of Lex's house, and when Alexis found out this, damn when TJ found out Molly snuck Rafe. And something else I want to say about this. Why the hell did Molly sneak Rafe, let Rafe come into the house, but when TJ was basically saying he don't, um, basically they, they, he don't think they should talk out there in the cold, they should go in the house, and Molly said she didn't want to wake up Christina. I would like, if it was me, I would like, damn Christina, I don't care about her. Got to see Christina. I've been tolerating Christina in these past couple of episodes, but tomorrow I feel like I'm going to hate her. Again, anyway, um, but yeah, um, she let, she don't, she wouldn't let her boyfriend come into her house, come into her house. I know Rafe was saying he had nowhere to go, and Molly's just a sweet person. She, she snuck him to her house. She's gonna sneak him into her bedroom. And I do believe this is just Molly being nice. I don't think she really has feelings for Rafe like that. Ah, I, I don't think, I mean, I, I don't think she flat out has feelings for him like that, but, um, you never know. Anyway, um. Enough about that. Now let's talk about what I really want to talk about. Luke was at the um pier, basically um, talk, and it was funny when Luke had that scene, those things with Tracy today. Luke said, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Spank, I'm sorry, Tracy, but one unfortunately one life to live is not on anymore." That had me rolling. That, that I was in the flow when he said it. But um, when Luke and Anna were at the um, at the um docks, and like I said, they need to do something about them that damn pier fifty two. They need to do something about that. Too many people ain't got killed out there. And something that speaking of people getting killed on Pier Fifty Two, are they ever gonna say anything about do anything about Jason's memorial? Are they ever gonna do? Or was Jason's memorial like so off screen? Cause they got Sam all in this McBain stuff, and I'm just saying, and and um, I ain't heard we ain't seen much of um Monica lately, but are they ever gonna do anything about that? That's just me wondering. And um, and a lot of people were complaining, even myself, that there that wasn't really enough. There no follow up to Maxie and Frisco and whatnot, but Ron Carlevati actually put out a tweet and said, "For the, those that that are asking, we only have Frisco for a couple of episodes, so Jack Wagner is not going to be Frisco's not supposed to be around long. He's going to be on tomorrow's episode, but he said we only have they said he, they only have Jack Wagner for a couple of episodes, but just a number of episodes, kind of like how that was it was a phase up. I know Jack Wagner goes off. He does prime time stuff, and he I think he also directs some stuff. He but he does he does a lot of prime time work." And um, he said we only have her, only have him for a, a number of episodes. So those that have been asking, um, he's he's trying to space everything all out. But anyway, like I said, he he could be already done shooting now, and they they just have his stuff spaced out. But anyway, um, but at the very end, Luke um Anna was basically all confused. She's basically saying she she doesn't want to believe McBain was the one that did this. Because and she's all confused because people not being who they think that who they say they are with the whole Phazon and um with the whole Phazon and Phazon stuff and whatnot, which they need to do something about that too with the whole Jerry Jackson and whatnot and Robin. I know Kim McCullough's not back, but they can at least do something with Jerry Jackson. That mean I, I'm hearing this top secret Sebastian Roche is supposedly filming scenes right now, but I don't know how true that is. Anyway, um. And at the very end, Luke kissed Luke kissed Anna. And then in at the very end, and like from a distance, in in walks Laura. Laura sees Luke kiss Anna, and I got my entire life. I mean, I hate the fact that they had and Jeannie Francis was like tweeting, live tweeting the whole time. What I don't understand is why can't she have why can't she have live tweet tomorrow? Because I have a feeling she's gonna be on a lot tomorrow, and. I'm just saying, why didn't why can't she have tweeted tomorrow? Excuse me, but she just saw and she saw Luke kissing Anna, and I got my entire life. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about today's episode. Um, I'm looking forward to Jeannie Francis. Actually, people, don't, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Jeannie Francis's character Laura actually got me into watching GH in the '90s. Um, her character, the story with the whole um 
Cap Spencer versus Cassidy and stuff and all that, and with Laura finding out that Nicholas was her son and whatnot. That um, which I'm hearing is he's supposed to be coming back too. Um, there's just a rumor that he's supposed to be coming back, but um, that, but yeah, Laura kind of got me into watching GH. I mean, her and Luke. I mean, I missed the whole Luke and Laura classic '80s days, but I got thanks to YouTube, I watched some of that and the whole Ice Princess stuff. But I watched, I started watching GH in the '90s and. When Luke was, and Laura was like friends with um, Mary May Ward and whatnot, um, those and her, her relationship with Stefan and all that and Luke, I mean that's what really got me in, in, in involved in watching GH. That really got me involved in watching GH, the character of Laura. Um, so if any of you guys want to know that, that's little tidbits right there. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, like, subscribe. Um, if you dislike the video, let me know why. I mean. That's, that's I don't think I'll, 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 I will say. If you dislike the video, just let me know why you dislike the video. Let me know. I, I love reading you guys' comments. I love reading people's input. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is Dominic checking out. Peace. God bless. See you guys tomorrow.